one says if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to happen out here. So we've had a perfect relationship with the autopilots. And earlier it said current limits and now motor stall. We cannot get our autopilot to work. So I'm going to post this on Facebook and also in our video. If anyone has come across this issue with Raymarine ST6002, I mean this thing was working at bulletproof until just this morning. Nothing's changed in our habits of using it. It's very simple. I've used it for four years, day in and day out, thousands of miles. So if anyone has had this issue, Raymarine ST6000 wheel drive. Leave it in the comments below. Also on Facebook, comments on it. Let me know what the fix is. Do I need a whole new unit? Will Ray Marine fix the unit that's been eight years old? Uh, let me know. Thanks. So right now we've just got the wheel locked and we're praying to the wheel gods just to keep the boat balanced and to keep us on target. All right, I'm awaiting your answers. I look forward to them. Either way, Ray Marine's getting a call as soon as I get hit dry land. Okay, so this is a follow-up to the autopilot situation. Okay, so we've pulled the autopilot off. You can see by the threads that it just screws off from the gearbox right there. Okay, so that's one side. And then the back side of it pulls off where you have these two attachments. Okay, and this comes from recommendation of Ray Marine. This is the motor that's on the inside. We had the motor tested, it's no good. There were bits and pieces falling out of it. This is the old one. It comes out of here, as you can see, it's gonna go inside that cylinder. And then these wires will attach and cap the whole thing closed. So what we done is we have cut those two and we went to Home Depot and got ourselves a $20 soldering iron. Ah, okay, so we got a $20 soldering iron. So we are gonna take these wires, we're gonna solder them to the new motor. This is the new motor from Defender Marine. $72 uh, plus 14 for two day shipping. That red dot tells you that it's the positive side. So we're gonna solder the positive side, the negative side. Put the whole unit back together and then put our wheel back on and um, hopefully that should work again the error message that we saw was current limit and then motor stall as we saw earlier in the video so i'm just adding this at the tail end so you know um if your autopilot goes on the fritz or if you ever see that there is a fix and you don't have to buy an entirely new autopilot system this is for the Raymarine uh, ST4000, 6000. It's for the black case and the aluminum case one as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put this together and hopefully have a working autopilot here in a few minutes. Fingers crossed. All right, so we put everything back together. So two little wells. Uh, two little solders actually. Again, on the back here, these two terminals. The red one is positive, the other side is negative. Using our soldering iron, we tapped a new motor into place, put it back together. And now let's see. Let's see what we got here. I believe that we have a fix. 
So now we can plan our trip to uh, Montrose for the weekend. So yeah, so we're gonna add this to the we're gonna add this to the uh, the end of the video. Just as a uh, conclusion to the autopilot, so we're able to get that solved. Again, thanks Ray Marine, thanks Defender Marine for the part. We're going to uh, put the links in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks much.